Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to demonstrate a report triggered flow scenario. Let's understand the requirement now. So if you want to implement a record trigger flow where you want to update child records whenever parent record is updated. So uh, to understand this requirement, I have a use case that is uh, populate account billing address to related contacts mailing address. So how we are going to do that? So we will be creating a checkbox on account. And uh, if the checkbox is updated to true from false. So in that case, account billing information will be copied to the accounts uh, related contacts mailing address. So let's see how we can do this with the help of record trigger flow. So first of all, I'm going to create a field. So under object manager, I selected account, then fields and relationships. Then I'm clicking on new. So from here, I'm going to create a field of type checkbox. So naming it as copy. Billing to mailing visible to all the profiles clicked on next available to all the page layouts and then clicked on save. So this way our field is created. Now I can go and create a new record trigger flow. So this record trigger flow will work on account. Now here I am selecting a record is updated because on creation, if you are creating a new account, so at that time there won't be any uh, related contact. So once you created any account and uh, that account is having some related contact. So later on, uh, when you provide address or if you have already provided billing address on the account record. So later on, you can just enable that checkbox so that all the billing information will be copied to the mailing address on contact. So you can just have it. And uh, here you need to provide the conditions. So we need to select this field if it is changed. So if it is changed and uh, its value is equals to true. Then from here, I'm selecting accounts and related records and clicked on done. Right now we need to update the context which are uh, related to that account. So here we need to select update records. So we need to update the context. And uh, I'm selecting this third option, like specify conditions to identify records and set fields individually. So from here, I'm selecting object as contact because we need to update the contact. Now we need to update the contacts which are related to account. So contacts are related to account with the help of lookup. So that lookup API is known as account ID. If it is equals, like this account ID is available on contact, which is having account ID. So if, if this account ID lookup is equals to the ID, which is available in this global variable. So whenever you are updating any account record, so account record information will be available in this dollar record variable. So through that you can have the account ID. So if this account ID is available in this account ID lookup on any contact, so it means that contact is related to the account through which this record trigger flow is triggered. So now we can update. So I am selecting mailing city equals to record dot billing city. Then mailing country equals to record dot sorry, billing country. 
So on left hand side, we have all the mailing information. Those are available on contact. And on right hand side, we are having all the billing information that is available on the account. So this way, I uh, map a mailing postal code with billing postal code. Next is mailing state with billing state, and then mailing street with billing street okay so this way uh, i map all the billing information of account with the mailing information of the contact now i'm clicking on done so the flow is created and uh, now we can save it I'm clicking on save, activating the flow. Now I need to open the account record where uh, some related contacts are available. So I am opening this and here you can see two contacts are already available. And I'm going to open these contacts in new tab so that we can see whether they are having any mailing information or not. So here you can see we have this billing address already populated. Mailing address is also available, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to erasing these so that they will be blank. And when we will be enabling that checkbox, then the billing information will be copied here. Right, so both the contacts are having uh, mailing information as blank. Now, if I come here, so here you will see the checkbox. Okay, I need to refresh this page so that I can see the field on the detail page. Yeah, here we have this copy billing to mailing. So if I add it and enable this checkbox, so this billing information will automatically populate it on the related contacts. So if I click on save, go here, refresh, and see the details. So here you can see mailing address is populated. If I go here, do a refresh. So you can see mailing information is available automatically, right? So. Now this checkbox is checked. It means if you create new contacts, in those contacts, mailing address won't be populated automatically, right? So in that case, what you can do, just uncheck this checkbox and then again, check this checkbox. So that newly created uh, contact will also be having that information. So let's try that. So I'm creating new contact. So here, uh, this billing information is already populated. So I'm just leaving it as blank. And uh, saving the contact. So if I open this in new tab, go to details. So here you can see mailing address is blank. So now what you can do, So I unchecked it. If I uncheck and refresh the related contacts, so wherever mailing information is available, they will be intact. There will be no change. Now, if I select this and save it again, if I refresh the existing contacts, so they will be having the mailing address populated. There will be no change. If I go to this newly created contact, if I refresh this, So here you can see mailing address is available, similar to billing address. So this way, like all the purposes are fulfilled with this checkbox. If you want to copy billing information to the mailing 
billing address to the mailing address of the contacts, right? So this way, I hope you understood how we can update child records when parent record is updated.